everybody today we're going to do a version of this card which is the art deco one just lift it up a little bit it's that one which is see through okay that's the inner there and I've covered the inners here but of course I have it on there so we're going to do a version of this today Okay, I'll just pop that to one side for a minute. So, started on the inside, which is just your normal matting and layering. So, I've done a few measurements. The gold is 19.1 square, the white is 18.4 square, and then the blue which is the Chloe's one, is 17.9 square. Okay? And then your triangle, which is this one, is 17.3 across and 19.6 on the sides. So, the easiest way I did it line it up on a grid so it's sort of even at the top find the middle so you're going to have to go a little bit further across so that will be your middle so just mark it there and cut straight down and that will give you your triangle um, I haven't got a template for it the inside one I've got templates for the others but I haven't got a template for this one so 17.3 across the top find the middle mark it and then 19.6 but literally if you've cut this 17.3 and you've marked here just put it on your guillotine cutter whatever you've got and just cut straight down and then afterwards give it a little measure it should roughly be in the vicinity of 19.6 if it's not just slightly give it a little tweak but I don't think it matters too much because it's going to go in there so as long as it fits you could always, if the pointed bit is too long, take a bit more off at the top. Just a couple of mil at a time until you're happy with it. I'm quite happy with that. And I've used a scallop card. It's an 8 inch scallop card. Because we're going to cut these off in a minute. But then we're going to use these. So don't throw them away. So there's your centre scallop there. So I'll line that up with that. And on the inside, I'm going to use the double-sided red tape, the 5mm one. I'm going to show you. I just mark 5mm in all the way around, so you've got something to line up with. Find the end. And I line it up just on the edge of it. Like that. Like that one. Because you want the outside to be showing. Trim that off. And trim that off. And then just push it down so it properly sticks. That. And you're going to have to lift it up because you're going over the top so just lift it up you can fold it so that it's out the way and then just do exactly the same line it up 
inside. Pencil marks won't be seen because we're going to... Right, and then pop that bit down. It's just so that you can go over the other bit with the sticky. There. And again, just pop it down. Make sure it sticks properly. And then lift the two ends on this one. That one. And this one. Because you're going over both ends. You remember we want the white bit showing. So slightly inside. Line it up with your pencil marks and pop it down. Pop that to one side. Put your sticky bits down. Pick it up. Just give them a little trim. Do them off because they're quite this red stuff's quite sticky. Right, and then I don't know what one it was now, I think it was this one. Push that down with your bone folder. And we're just going to glitter that. Uh, salted caramel I'm using today. Done a few little ones earlier that are drying out. I'll show you the scent we're going to be using in a minute. I've also got Dolce de Leche out. Not sure if I'm going to use it yet, but I've got it out because it's sort of the colour sort of matches. Right, a scrap bit of powder. Just peel these off. And we're just going to go all the way around the outside. These things, they stick. You can't get them off. I just tie them in a knot and then they're easily to put in the bin. Right, so just sprinkle this over. Just push it down. If you've put enough on, you can actually just pick it up from the, the other one that you've just done. Or just put more on. dust. Okay, and that's going to be our inside one. Covered. Covered, covered, covered. Alright, so that's that bit. I'm going to stick that down first. This one's quite, it's not a hard one, this one, because you're just using your cutter. You're not hand cutting really as such, because it it's just all straight lines on this one. I think I've got more on me than I've got actually anywhere else on this one. Right, just get your card back. And this one we're just going to pop it in there. Put some tape on. Didn't have to tape it before because there's no wet glue. So, just going to go down. Just put it down with a bone folder just to make sure. Below the edge, so I just trim that off after. Like that. Just a bit of that. And then bunny ears. So it's easy to put it down. Okay. Right, let's get rid of some of the glitter. And pop it down, move it, 
but don't press where you've lifted your bunny ears because that's where it's going to be stuck down so remember your middle bit is here I just counted in line it up as best you can get it even as best you can and just pop it down don't have to worry with any wet glue on this so that is the inside at the moment might add something later not sure not sure okay need to do the uh, on the computer do the happy birthday in the font on the computer it's just like um, an art deco kind of one can't remember what it's called get my husband to look that up so Uh, I'm, I'm sure there is Art Deco stamps on the market, but I don't actually have any, so it's just as easy to put it on the computer. Right, so that's your inside done for the time being. Now, I've pre cut my ones out. Already, but this is your base. And I did exactly the same on this template. So there's your 20 across the top, which is what your card basically is. That's your middle of your card. So you've got 20, 22 and 22 down the sides. But you don't really have to pay <coughs> excuse me, much attention to your sides really because once you've got your little mark there, and you mark up here, you're literally going straight on the me, your cutter um, pencil. There it is. So, I don't really need templates for this one because it, you can just put it straight on your cutter. But you want to take these corner little bits off here where it goes in on the scallop straight down. So I'm going to get my, this one, literally, might have to use the bigger one, let's see, I like using the little one better, is it going to work? No, it's not going to work, we we'll have to use the big one. So, okay, so line it up, which is just on your, your fold at the top, straight down, just move it round. And straight down. Just check and double check. Straight down. Keep keep these bits that you're going to cut off. Because we're going to use those in a minute. Right, exactly the same again. Line it up. The bottom. I can't see the bottom. There. Just move it in slightly. That's it. Right, the word font is AR Bonnie was the one that I used. Okay, I haven't done it this time, but I will get that printed out. When I put it on the uh, on Chloe's page, uh, Facebook page, right. So you've kept your bits. So that's your card, like that. Of course, it's 
it's gonna be a bit hard to stand up it's not won't stand up so get some acetate I use this one I get mine I get it from the range it's, it's a the paper mania one nice thick one this one when you buy it make sure you check in the little hole here that it's actually cleared and it's not mottled because I bought one and it was all mottled so I couldn't use it for any anything decent I had to just use it for doing the insides of the reef cards because it just showed like it wasn't clear, it was sort of, mottle's the wrong word, but it was just like bitty all over it. But, this is what's going to go inside the card. So, I'll just open it up so you can see. Uh, and I think it was 20, let's measure it properly just under so I think I wrote it down let's have a look strong acetate 19.5 by 19.5 square so that's what you need to cut and that will cut nicely on your um, guillotine so I'll just move that out of the way because I don't want the little feet mark of the guillotine on it so 19.5 Hold it quite firm. That's the same again, 19.5. If you find it is a little bit too big, <coughs> you can always chop a bit off. Just pop them bits to one side, I'm not going to use those. Right, and check it. Just going to open the flap, pop it in. Just line it up with either side of your scallop. That fits perfect. There. And you will see it's slightly shorter here, which is what we wanted because we're going to add these bits on, the bits that you cut off going to chop them off so you're going to have three scallops here and one two three four five six so six including the corner and then three and you're going to need that on both sides we will put that in after just when we're doing when we attach the acetate we're just just going to use use the red tape I find it sticks a little bit better just there let's do that next so you just want your red tape there and there I haven't got my thick now let's get my thick tape Just remember, once it's stuck, you're not getting this tape off. So just be really careful when you're positioning. You can still do bunny ears with it. But just remember, the bunny ears are slightly different on this. And cut it off. Okay, and then do the next one. Of course, it's going to be different. It's going to be a different side. So cut that, line it up. Doesn't matter if you've got a gap. I don't worry about that. Okay. 
and then a little bit down there. Not right on the a little uh, bumpy foldy bit. Right, and get your bone folder, push it down. it quite firmly it will tend to lift up a little bit that should be okay for what we want really increase it hmm. got a sequin in there where did that come from okay crease it this down you want to go underneath this crease I'm just going to check that before I tell you the wrong thing and it just let me check that before I actually tell you right underneath this crease here and then you want to fold that down on top, like that, and pull it away, exactly the same, like that, and then you can lift that up, <coughs> and my bunny here went inside, which is not a problem, because you can just pop back in there. Just remember, make sure your bunny is poking out so that you can get it. And then we don't need to, but I always like to push it down a little bit with the bone folder. You can see where it's not stuck. Let's push it down. And then that is a flat because it's still a little bit leaning forward because we haven't put the little bottom things on so let's get them this is what they are so I said three and six so I'm just going to get the cutter no templates for this and we're just gonna so one two three four five six which is that one and three and check it before you cut one two three four five six cut it down and that's your first one there and exactly the same on this side, so that's going to be for that side and then the opposite side there so three and one, two, three, four, five, six which is there don't think we need them but you never know So that's those. And I'll show you how to do the insides because we're going to cover all that. We don't want everybody seeing all that nasty tape. So that one goes there. And what we're going to do, we're just going to line it up with the outside of the scallops there. And line that one up with the outside of the scallops, the bottom and the side. 
and then we're just going to stick that down. So I'm just going to use this tape for this. And we don't want it on the edges as such, so I'm just going to put a little bit in the middle, a little bit in the middle, there. I'm not going to do bunny ears on this because it's a little bit too small. I've got glitter underneath there. Now I will just pop. little bit of just a tiny little bit of glue there just the smallest amount and then line it up with the outside of the scallop the same with the other side. Don't want a lot of glue, just a little tiny. Just pop it down. Line it up. Stick it down. Okay, that's the first part. beginning. I've got to be careful because it's wet. Okay, that's a little bit sticky. There's not enough glitter on it. I need to put a little bit more on after. Okay, so that's the inside. We will be covering them in a minute. I'm just going to check. I think they're not scalloped inside. No, they are literally covering just the acetate on the inside so just sort of right angles we could use the bits this is fine we could use these so we can mark them with the elusive pencil Yes. Right. So there, there, and then we want to go straight down. There, we do that straight on the guillotine, and that is there. Let's see if this works out. I can't remember how I did this before when I did it. If it doesn't work, try something different. Let's see what we got. If it works, perfect. That one. And then line that up with the corner of that. There. works it's perfect because we're literally just do exactly the same again that's enough there perfect so I'm going to do exactly the same again use this one as the template Perfect at the bottom there. Just move it a little bit. That's fine. And I'll be cutting inside the pencil mark. Otherwise, it makes it too big. And turn it. I'm going to do that again on the other side because I don't like the way they come out. Use that as a straight edge. 
I won't draw on it. Yeah, that's what rubbers are for. Cut this one. See if this actually worked. The inside is only going to be covered up like this. That's fine. Just get rid of the pencil mark there. And there. And that one I drew on. I don't think it matters really. No, it didn't because it's the other side. No mind. Right, so that is slightly a little bit big, so I'm just going to give that a trim because it only needs to go to there because we don't want it to be seen on the other side. So I we'll just need to trim that there to there. Do it again. Right there to there. And that one's just a little bit as well. There to there. didn't do any sizes for these ones. Perfect. And just a bit of tape. using Chloe's um, cocktail stamps today. Well done. Yeah. Right. Just going to do that one. So we want to go slightly underneath the twenty. So, just an ordinary bit of scrap. Let's see what we've got here. So, we go. Oh, I can't do it on that one, it's not big enough. The top of it is 20. So, I'm literally going to go a couple of mil. Just under because we don't want it to be seen on the good side. But we don't want it to be 
to well, it's still going to need a little bit more so I'm going on the size of the acetate underneath so I'm just going to cut it again there Thud. Cat moving. Right. It's just. I think I trapped the cat and you couldn't get out. So, just trim that. going to go inside just slightly that is going to be our point there if it doesn't fit we we'll just take a little bit more off as we go is that big enough yeah just so good part in a moment we're just getting the nitty gritty little bits out of the way this was an afterthought because when I opened the card up you could see all the like the workings and I didn't like that so just to fit that in there like that yeah that's okay just flip this over yeah, so I'm not going to use red tape on this one because it's just the inside. I'm just going to use the normal tape. Position this one quite precise. And there. Right, position it as best you can. Use your guide, your acetate at the top, use that as a guide for the top and your point at the bottom. And then stick it down. Right, that's that bit covered. So that's the coverings of the inside done. There. So when I did the little bits on the side, I literally I just got the corners of the that are left over from what we're going to be doing actually let's do those first because otherwise I can't show you the, the other little corners right this is your the base template which I showed you before which we cut it cut the base template out of so I'm just going to pop that to one side Okay, the next one is a gold one. Find your middle point 
it's like if you're using a a grid I find it a lot easier to try and match up so it's a little bit over there a little bit over there and just try and match up and then you'll find the middle slightly off move it move it up there you go so just find your middle between that point and that point and that will be your bottom point there okay so 18.6 as a double reference 20.5 but as again if it's slightly off a couple of mil please don't worry about that so that is going to be the gold which is there like that and that is going to be stuck straight down so I'm going to do that straight away there and fold up Bunny ears. I haven't got um, cat fluff this time, I've got jumper fluff. Okay, stick that down. Uh, no glitter on this bit. There's actually not much glitter on the outside of the card here, really. Okay, stick that down. It's quite a nice and easy one, really. Stick that there. And then we go in with... So that was number one. Now we're going to go in number two. So it's 17 across the top. Find the middle. And come down so your edges are 19. There. That one matches. This one is going to be in white. And that is stuck straight down as well. So 17 at the top. Find your middle. And that is going to be your point when you come down. And stick this one straight down. like to be able to show you Quincy because but he's a bit camera shy he's the one if you can hear I don't know if you can hear him he's in the background snoring every now and again but he's just woken up from about 10 o'clock this morning so he's had a nice laying after keeping us awake all night Mr Quincy right pop this one down I don't move this side. Line it up. It's near it's gonna be. There. There. And there. Right, the next one is a blue, and that is 16.3. Again, find your middle. Go just draw a line straight down and then you can go from your corner down 17.9 either side and that's going to be your blue one template number three just making big triangles and then this one is going to have the tape that we did before, the thin 5 mil tape and that's going to be 
five mil either side. I need to adjust after. I can't remember if I did that. So there, 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 there. So it goes the same as we did before for the the inner card. I can't find the end. There it is. Right, we're going on the inside of your pencil line. So you get a little bit of blue showing. Just on the outside there. Cut that off. Side of the line, and down. sides on this one. So I'll scooch it down a little bit. Scooch it down. Inside of the line. Just drop off the extra little bits. There. And then I've done with my scrap paper. Going to do exactly the same sorted caramel and Chloe's sparklicious. This is a Chloe's navy card. I can't say it, I will attempt to say it. Lepers Lazla, I can't say it. My friend Teresa will be laughing. I will try again. Lapis Lazuli. Still can't get it. You know what I mean. It's on Chloe's site. It's the blue one. Right. Push it down. There's quite a bit on here. I can use it from there. Dust. Get as much residue off as possible and then pop it back in. I haven't got much. Just 
Just give you a little squidge. Mm. That's really nice. Alright. Where are we up to? This is the Yeah, this is on pads. Well, I did get some pads out earlier. Of course, use them all. This is Chloe's three mil pads. Debris left over from the last bit. So, to get the nice point, just chop one in half and literally pop it as close as you can. these little gaps we we'll do some shaped ones and just pop them in there's a small one there we can fit that in perfect there there's another one there I don't know if that's gonna let's see if that will fit in somehow Remember you've got the little overhangs that you can lift up and just pop them under. That gap would be alright there. Just use that up there. Uh, right, let's just fill in with the whole ones. Don't know if I'll get a whole one there, will I? to the edge and then we want another little one so just a, a shaving lift that up a bit underneath that's fine and then we've got another little bit we can use here yeah. A proper triangle one there. Try and use that. In there. That should be able to use in there. You never waste any of these, even though you're cutting them, you're never going to waste them because there's always going to be some little gap that bits and pieces will fit in. So that's there. Just offer it up. Perfect. So I'm going to do exactly the same as what I normally do. I'm going to take off the bottom layers. I'm actually going to take off the other one as well. Okay. That's okay. Right. How would you end up that you're going to be sticking? I always tend to have that on my left so I can hold it with my left hand. And do your point so that you can still move it around. You're not sticking it down yet. You're still holding it. Line up your V at the bottom, line it up, pop it down, okay, and then turn it up, 
and just go in and take away bits and pieces. There's one in there that I can't get hold of. Ah, got it. And that one. Sit. Pop it down. So that. Told to come further by the husband Philip. Okay, I'm guarding down this side. I've got a cat ready to pounce on me. So if you see a, a furry body come up, it's Quincy, his name is. But he'll soon jump down. So I'm not worried if he jumps up. It's just, you'll just get a little busy. He's, he's quite happy just seeing it. Right, so the next one, we've done the. Um, Right, so template number four, that actually measures 14.6 and then 16.2 either side. So cut your 14.6, find your middle, straight down and then 16.2, 16.2. Or if you want to, you can fold it entirely up to you. So that is going to sit on the top perfect I thought we might have to adjust the measurement but I think it's going to sit in there quite nicely so put that to one side and that is going to be your gold and that will be on pads as well so that's going to be quite nice up there so let's pop some pads on there don't know if you look really a little Look all right flat? No, it needs to be on pads. So, put some pads on. You don't have to, if you want to, don't have to put pads on. If you don't want to, you can put it flat. Entirely up to you. Leave that shaped one. I'll be able to use that in a minute for something. a bit of a bit of a trim here Sit. so let's use some of these that's gonna fit in there Yeah. That one. I need one for there. It's going to fit into there. They've still got some on, so I don't want to mix them up 
the ones that I've already used. So that's going to be raised up. And do exactly the same. With some of these little ones, they're quite awkward to get off when we do it like this. So I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm still going to do it, hold it. That is the correct way. Yeah. All right. Hold this end up. Pop it down. This is quite not much blue showing through. Pop it down. Pick it up. Do it exactly the same. Take off the bits. That one's done, that one's done, that one's done. Right, they're all sticky. Right, pop it down. Okay, and then your last one, this is your 13.1 template number 5 and 14.5 either side. So, do your measurement 13.1, find the middle, draw a line straight down, then you can do your line and your line. Do it on your grid, it's a lot easier. This one is going to be done exactly the same I'm going to do with the um, tape. So I'm going to measure me five. There. There. the same inside of the line there there Same again. I tend to hold it on the closest one to me and then stick it down. When you do this, just line it up as best you can. Pop that down. Right, this one you've got to lift both ends up. I didn't do the uh, stick down proper, do it properly, I should say. Right, stick that. Bring that back. Right. Free end that little bit. Take that off, stick that down, stick that down. It will always be a little bit sticky um, because the glue never covers it. You can just put another coat of glitter over the top of it to try and get some more some of the sticky off, but it will always be slightly a little bit tacky. 
because you've used this tape but it does give a nicer crisp finish especially when you're doing art deco ones because they're all crisp lines and things right um, scrap paper I'm going to use exactly the same one again one is going to be stuck straight down so this is ordinary tape Look, I'm in the right mess again this is the paper tape I prefer this one I bought some from Hobbycraft and it's quite stiff I prefer that tape A lot of people don't use tape anymore, they use um, just straight glue, but I'm, I'm not brave enough to do that. Right, many years. Line it up. Slightly moved, just redo it. Line up your pointy. Okay. Okay, so that's that. Still, still a little bit sticky, but that is because of the, the tape that we put on. But it's not going to come up, it's not going to do anything to the bottom of the card. So, okay. So, just let me get rid of some of this rubbish that I've collected. And I'm aiming for the bin, but I don't think I'm getting much in the bin. the little side bits because you'll have bits and pieces that you've cut off right, let's give it a proper little brush off the acetate will attract it because it's static I did put my anti-static mat over it my little you know your anti-static little pad thing and it ruins the acetate so please don't do that if you want to clean your acetate just get a a clean bit of kitchen towel I won't use mine because I've got all sorts of things on it but just give it a little wipe over or a microfiber cloth or something like that <laughs> I've learnt by my mistakes don't use your anti-static mat on your ordinary acetate right so we're going to do these little corner bits here so just got some leftovers quite a few bits of leftovers so all I did on this no measurements just find a nice sort of angle there's a nice angle and we're going to go in with so underneath we've done the gold on top of the scallop so we'll go gold and literally all I did I went 
and I just literally cut on the guillotine, you can see all my fingerprints, I have to get them off in a minute, straight on the guillotine there to there, and then on another piece, there's another piece here, I literally use that one as a template for the other side, so I'm just going to do that now, put the card out of the way for two seconds, put it this way so you can see, I hope you can see what I'm doing, pop that down and on the inside of the pencil line because if you go on the outside it does make it slightly bigger because the width of the pencil lead straight down get that out check it, just offer it up just to make sure I think that's fine. Let me put it down properly. Let me put it down properly. Right, it seems to have got, must be sank on my guillotine because it's all pitted, but never mind. Right, pop it down. That's fine. So do exactly the same. But remember, you've got to have good sides together or bad sides together in this case because you want one that way and you want one that way so if you cut this this way you will get two facing this way and you won't get that one so make sure you do like the mirror image so line that up just going to do a little pencil mark remember I've got to cut on the inside of the pencil line Literally, it's, I don't even think it's a millimetre. That's that. I'm using that again in a minute, so. On that side, on that side. I think the little pity things is where I took it out of the pad I'm using Chloe's um, mirror pad. I think that's where I took it out. a bit raised. If you find once you've cut it that it sort of looks a bit sticky up just run your finger now down the side of it and it'll just turn the edge over and that one there I can see a pencil mark there that's annoying me so I'm just gonna get rid of that. Now I'm gonna be brave and I'm gonna go straight in. I didn't clean that. Let me clean that. I'm going to go straight in with the Cosmic Shimmer. Offer it up. Place it down. Still a little bit. it down not too much because you don't want too much seepage but if you do don't worry about it we can get that off after I think that's got the uh, glue from the pad in it I think yeah it has I do use my tweezers for quite a lot of things actually. Okay, offer it up. Pop it down. Sort matches down a little bit. Just dump yourself. A little bit. I do look a lot by just looking, I have to say. Right, 
Give that a little squidgy. Okay, that's that one. We'll do the centre in a minute. Because I don't actually know what I've done with me. The centre. Oh, there it is, look. I've been looking for that. And we grade that one up. But I haven't got my sentiment because my husband hasn't printed it out for me. Okay, right. I feel my husband has printed this out for me, the happy birthday. So, it was the AR Bonnie, which is a word font. Uh, what size did you use, Phil? Um, He's just going to check yeah. the size because that's going to fit in 24 and 16. So 24 for the top one and 16 for the bottom one. Right, I'm just going to put them to one side because I've digressed. I've got them to something else. Right, so we need to finish these bottom bits. That we're done with the gold. So pop the gold bits and pieces to one side. So now we're going to go with the white. So white and white, exactly the same as what we did before. Lay it on it. Pencil, pencil. Use that as your guide. Side of the pencil mark and down. Offer it up. Perfect. So, do it exactly the same. Use that as a little template, but because it's the same. Each side it doesn't matter if you do it the wrong way because it's it's like a double sided one so it doesn't matter you can use it either way on this one. Just make sure it's it's slightly bigger. So I'm just gonna chop that down just a fraction. And I'll just check make sure what one I'm cutting down. Just chop this down, literally, I'd say a couple of mil. But if it's too much, then we can always cut it again. No, that's perfect. So, it's a bit, a little bit bitty, this part of it. So, that one can go there. And that one can go there, there, and there. Not too much, just enough. Place it down. There, you can see a little bit seeping out. I'm just going to leave that for a couple of seconds. Pull it up and place it down. squeeze out a little bit more. Right. So just with my tweezers I go around the outside. Just take as much off as you can because it's going to be quite hard to get the rubber in there after. So just take off what you can. 
it dries clear so I'm not too worried about it and the reflection I'm getting I can't see what I'm doing right and then we're going to go in exactly the same the same with the blue so there's a, a nice bit there so there and there put that to one side use that as the template as well inside of the pencil line Hold it quite firm because it's smaller and smaller now. Use that as a template. So hold it in quite firm. And remember, inside of the line. Doesn't matter if you go outside, we can always. Drop it off after. That's it. Millimeters different. I'm not worried about millimeters. Okay, so one's going to go here. Just drop it out, make sure it's the right. A bit of seepage there. I need to get rid of that. Okay, place it down. Let's do a little tidy up. Some, um, some little gems in the corner. I've got to get my gold ones out, so bear with. I'm going to get some gold gems because I keep my me, me silver ones out all the time. But it's Rare that I do a gold card now. See if I can find some gold gems. Yeah, there's some small ones. See if I can find some big ones. I know I've got some somewhere. But of course, because I wasn't, I'm not going to be able to find them, am I? Ah. Mm, not very golden. I might have to find them and put them on later. Ah, here they are. Here we are. Right. Okay. I think those ones are a bit too big. Let's go with these ones. We're just going to pop three on. We'll put a little bit of. They are self adhesive, but I always put a little bit of. Cosmic Shimmer just to give them a little helping hand. 
because sometimes they do fall off even with the, the uh, glue that they put on them them down a little bit, but too much glue, but get it dry clear. Keep them out just in case, don't think we need them for anything else, oh yeah we do, I've just seen, right, keep them out for the time being, just put them over there. Right. I'm just going to get rid of some of that. Let's take it off. That's it. Right, that's the little tricky corner bits done. And we're going to do next. Oh, what I've done with it. What did I do with it? Where did I put it? Here we are. Right, we haven't done with them. I know it. Pop that out of the way. And we're going to do this of the uh, sentiment. So I'm just going to lay it down. Looks about right. It's roughly in the middle. I'm just going to do it by eye. I'm not going to measure anything. And this is printed, oh, moved it. I don't know what GSM this is. I just, I bought it from the range in the children's section and it's a really nice card. It's 2 99 for 50 sheets. It's quite a nice sturdy one. I quite like this one. Right, that is your template for this middle bit, the sentiment. I've actually, on my previous one, I've actually put it a little bit higher. So I'm going to put it, I'm going to do exactly the same because I think it looks better up a little bit higher and not in the middle. So just do it again. Pop that template with the others. I'm just going to cut it off there. near the edge and then it's easier to look at your pencil lines my cutter as the guide so next I will go down with what color have we got so we've got white so I'm going to do blue gold mm, I've only got three colours and on the original one I've got the four so we go we do something totally different so let's just put that down so what about if we go and then gold no I'm going to do uh, where's the gold bit 
big enough. Yes, so I'm going to go white, gold. So I literally stick that down. Uh, I'm going to use tape, I think, for that. No bunny ears. Straight down. Just remember to leave enough either side because you stick it down on this guillotine, put it back, turn it around and show you. So pull this back as far as you can and line your white up with that. And once you, you get a border, this is how I do all of mine when I'm scrapbooking. I always use, but not on the big one, because it doesn't have this, it just literally is straight down. There's no border on the, the big one, I found out. But when I'm doing pictures for scrapbooking, this is a perfect border. So... That's that, and then I'm going to go white. I must have a scrap bit of white. Yeah, right, scrap bit of white. So that. down, make sure you've got enough room around it. So exactly the same again. I'm just going to take that off there. So underneath, pull this back, line up the white. So the gold this time on the edge, the perspex, hold it straight down. back on the edge of the gold, hold it tight, and just keep going until you've done it all. If you don't push that back, sometimes it, there's movement, so you will get slightly a different measurement. But don't worry if you do, because you can always match it after. And then exactly the same. Look tiny bit in the middle for this one. It's quite big. Right. Exactly the same. This one we're on the white, so pull it back, line the white up with the edge, and down. Pop it back, pull it back, line it up, hold it, and down. And you can take this out, it just lifts out, and just give it a little wash underneath now and again if you're getting stuff on your on your work I find sometimes you get like, bits of old um, glue with glitter on it and it can mark your work right let's get rid of that
Okay, bring your card back in. And that will sit up there. And I've done that on pads. But remember, we're going a little bit high. So you want it a little bit over the gold here. There. And you want it a little bit over the gold. Remember to line your point up. Just draw a little line, that's where you're going to put your sticky pads because you don't want nothing over the top there because it's going to be there's nothing there. Okay, so I'll get some sticky pads. I think I did it on, yep, yeah, same three mil pads. Right, that's going to get used this time. shaped ones so it's a sort of square that bit cut off let's try it yep that'll do for that I haven't got a it's a little bit too small but we want to sort of Imagine, remember where your imaginary line is and literally we're going to stick this down so once you've taken the back off it's going to be going straight down okay oh, I just saw a pencil line there can't see it now there it is right so So this is going up there. So you've got to line up all the points on this bit. So gold at the top, your sides here, and your pointy bit. So I think that I'm just gonna go for it. Not thinking about it too much. Let's just check it. Yeah. You can just see. It's just there's a slight little gap underneath it's stuck I'm not going to worry about it right let's get rid of this right now we're going to decorate it so to decorate it I've actually used Chloe's cocktail glass and I've used the little fan, I don't know what it's called, cocktail fluffy thing, I don't know. but we're going to use that and I've done them in gold, what is it, metallic gold sparkle and I've put salted caramel just on the fluffy bits at the end 
for that one and I've used cocktails did I tell you the name of the other one? cocktail glass and this is cocktails yeah uh, so what I did because I just wanted plain little plain ones so stamped these two on their own cut them out and as I was cutting I just chopped that off so you was just left with a plain one and then I found some navy blue glitter and I just covered them in like that so they are going to go here but we're going to do something different underneath because I want to put there's a, a sentiment here Mojito Martini Cosmopolitan blah, 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 ending in Manhattan I want to put that in a little banner underneath which I didn't do on that one but I'm going to do it on this one because this is for a man's birthday so when it's opened that's your bit that you write on and then it'll have those either side just something something a bit different so I have no idea what I'm going to do with these so I was just going to arrange them like that I'm not going to cut the little stems off I was just going to leave them like that might need to just move them up a little bit just rearrange them how you want to arrange yours like that and I've done I think I did six I actually got quite bored with cutting them out so I just did three each side they were quite fiddly to cut out I have to say I did try and fit the big one on where's the big one oh, let's see. I did try and fit the big one on but it was too big but never mind so I cut the little little diddlies out so they're them let's just move these back just little fans I don't know what they're called I've never actually eaten a cocktail in my life so I'm sorry I can't tell you what they are uh, eating drunk cocktail in my life Try and match it up as best we can because it's all about symmetry and clean lines and everything. So I'm trying my best to get it even. There, there, up a little bit. Too bad, and then I was just going to arrange these. One, two, three. So I think the best thing to do now is to get the silicon. I think that's probably sealed up again now. And I'm just going to pop the tiniest little bit of silicon behind and hold it in place I think because I've, I've positioned them now and I like where they're positioned so that one there that one there I can always no I'm going to have to it's going to annoy me Yeah. 
So if I see you watch a little bit. The push it can under that. Yeah. Right, just poke that underneath. That's it. And then I'm just gonna pop these on. Tiniest little bit of silicone. Said, oh, let's just put them. Just going to dot them there, that one there. I never thought it would be so hard to do a sort of symmetry, but it's not happening with this. So I'm just then just going to put them, put them down so they're random. Everyone's crunk. see there. I'm not going to hold it up too much because as you probably know they'll slide off now and again. So that's that for the time being. And I'm just going to do three little um, gems with this. And I'm just going to randomly put just one, two, that's too much of a blob, three. some of that off in a minute. One, two, three. Try and match. Alright, let's try and get some of that off. Just pick it up, take it away. do that with silicone as well if you put too much down don't wipe it because it just smears just get your tweezers pop it the base pick it up quickly that's my top tip of the day right one two And air bubble. Not gonna burst. Tweezers. Pick it up. Don't know what's the matter with this. You stop getting air bubbles in it. Let's do 
the inside. I think this has been a long one today. Alright, so that's that. Okay, inside. We're just going to put the panel. Well, we're going to see. Let's do it. If we don't like it, we don't need to put it in. I've got some metallic gold rich super fine. Right, now this is the card that soaked up from the previous one. So I'm going to try it. We're going to see what happens. Actually, I'm going to get a bigger bit of card. I don't know if this is going to work. But you can't do it on blue because the blue is underneath. So let's just have a go. If it doesn't work, we won't use it. But we'll have a go. So just rub over your anti-static mat. What have I done with me? Here it is. So I've got everything ready because it's going to be really fast from there to there. And I'm going to I'm going to do it on diagonal because I'm going to be putting it in diagonal. I don't know if it makes a difference, but you never know. So, do your well. Get this ready because it's going to be just so quick. So, stamp, lift, pour it all on. And just hope it's stuck. First time ever. Right, I'm going to put that back in. I'm going to heat it up. Just put the lid on. Because if it doesn't come out right, there's no point doing another one. I'm going to put the lid on there so that it doesn't dry out. Right, remember, heat the gun away so that you're not burning this. So, two seconds. Heat it up. Not enough. I didn't think it would, but it's come out quite nice. So, what I'm going to do, bring the card back in. I was going to use my ruler as a underneath. So you've still got a bit of the blue showing. Or, I'll just do 5mm. Let's just do 5mm. Right, find the highest point, which is the capital letters. So, and just do five mil there, five, and find a Y or the longest that you can see. stamped it. Oh, it's gone really, it's gone like an arc. Let me check this. Oh, it's gone like an arc on there. Well, we know it stamps nice, so what I'm going to do, take that off. line and the white line 
and then with this use it on a white line use it as a, like a hinge pop it back that should come out straight if it doesn't hmm, I have to think of something else so find another bit of scrap bubble on So remember, it's got to be really quick. After all this, we might decide not to put it on the card, but all right, lid off. off there. Right, it's just the same. It's not as good as the last one I did. Let's have a go. Pop that back in. Right, I shouldn't need to heat it up a long time this time. Clear as before. I think it's all right though. I'm going to go with just instincts this time. I'm just going to go straight underneath. Right, that Y and that Y. Oh, very, very similar. So there and there. And turn it round. And the M and the M. I'm going to line that up. That could be why it's not. Let's see. Exactly the same as what I did previously. I'm just going to cut that off. Cut that off. Right, this might not work, but let's have a go. White line, white line. Sorry, line, pencil line. Chop it down. Exactly the same. Pencil line. Perspects, pull it back. Let's have a look, Let's see what we've got. <laughs> what do I do with the car? Oh. All right, it might look absolutely awful but so we've got to pull it in in there really 
so where's that going to go? Roughly there. So we can go. But it will fit on the other side. But then it's not going to be symmetrical. Yes, it'll fit on this side. But it won't fit on the other side. So, ladies and gents, I don't think I'm going to put it on because it will fit one side. But of course, because the words are longer, sorry, the yeah, the words are longer underneath. It's not going to fit on the other side. Let's attach to it. So, I'm not sure if it would have would have looked nice, but. We can always still wet. I'm a bit dubious about lifting that up for a long time. We can put it there, everybody. We can put it there. Or we can put it in there. I'm going to put it down the side. Right. That's that. I'm going to rub out the rubbers marks. that is just going to lay flat and then they're all going to slide off I always put a little bit of this on it. Right, so go inside, didn't I? So, take it round the other way. So we need to go inside. Right, I don't know what way round to do that, so I'm just going to cut that there. Keeping the same In two minds whether to put it in or not, everyone. 
No, I'm not going to put it on. After all that, everyone, I'm not going to put it on. I'm going to leave it as it is. Put, put your greetings in there. And that is our finished card. Might think about something to do with that later. But I think once it's that's the inside. That's the outside see through. That is the finished card. Hope you can see that alright. Hope you've enjoyed it. It was a bit of a I didn't think it would be so hard as what it was, but I hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you soon. Next one I'm going to be doing is um, flower shaping. So I hope you can join me and thank you for watching. Bye bye.